Okay, let's see if I get everything adjusted. <clears throat> Just a little second. Let's try again. Petrosian 1954. Maybe there isn't such a game in our database. And see black. There isn't such a game. What's the year here? Twenty fifty four. here and go to go Nineteen fifty four. <coughs> Montevideo. It might have been from this Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires competition in the game. Hello. So, Cherna says Petrosian smooth flow.
Petrosians. Huh. Oh. Moves slow along in this game like the birds of well written short story. It gets one little advantage transforms it to another and then to still another thus an admirable centralization allows Petrosian to st start a flank attack with his bones. The invasion of these bones opens up files for the it is behind the bones one of the pieces shoots up a file to the seventh rank and imprisons the enemy king the end comes very quickly after that loss of material or checkmate to <coughs> Okay, so let's begin. We know that the beginning is D4, Knight of 6. C4 Knight F6 is quite flexible I guess it's either E6 or C6 I would take it to the Penko territory. Let's guess A6. Okay. Adef3 is flexible. But knight c3 seems like a Petrosian thing to do. By the way, I'm a little bit curious if we're still on the game. And Nimso. Nope. And this transforms us to Queen's Gambit declined. When I think uh, Petrosian goes for Bishop C5. No. Plays my line. <coughs> some note on the C takes. <coughs> My favorite move of many modern players among them Potvini, Keres and Reshevsky. It simplifies the position without really the pressure black is under in queen side openings. And E3 
that's really why he does not try to win a pawn as the that would land him in a well known opening trap. So yes the trap is such that now we can take the, the piece if if he goes for <coughs> if he goes for Queen We are full base up in the end so So it's not even a trap, it's a line, concrete line. So E3. I think I saw e, uh, seven, number seven there, so probably piece of piece seven looks natural. And I think Maybe bishop d3 is most flexible. It's either queen c2 or bishop d3. I think. I don't think we want to give away if we want to play knight to f3 or e2 yet. So bishop d3 looks 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 natural. Are we still on the main line? Seems so. Castles looks perfectly natural here, and I think we see two here is most flex flexible. But it's not played. But knight e two. This was, by the way played against Potwinnik in uh, in their World Championship match 53 this night he to this setup but there there was this Other idea by Botvinny that won the game. It was a nice game, but can't remember now. How was how was it? Okay. So black to move. I think knight h5 is some kind of idea. But maybe after t6. c6 is a idea. b6, c6 is an idea. c5. or c6 so let's play c6 here no but rook e8 just wanna check if my man knight's fortune is still on the game ok This is quite typical when you can go knight f8, knight c6. I think this is perhaps even main in line. Probably just castle short here. Nope. In c2, we are still flexible on. on, on Mm, 
die by accident, so C6, so let's just play it. Short, um, uh, solid, solid gain by slowly improving. Sounds like a castle short, but no. <coughs> H3. Mm, this gives gives. So H3 <coughs> and 94 and the um, H3 idea comes alive I think here and I accidentally saw the bishop f4 so let's play it to me Knight f6 looks natural. But what happens after knight f6? f3? Because we just take. Okay, so knight f6. And I would still go to <coughs> Castle Sword. No. F3. And still leave the decision on, on Castling for the future. Okay, we were looking a little bit of this before. So I was thinking Knight takes it 3 But Knight D6 doesn't look that bad. Maybe. Not exit three rather mm, fast and wide development. So maybe ninety six. No. And here I would like to take with night. The B the thing about the spawn take <coughs> the spawn take is that that we are quite free to play the C four idea here. Mm. B five looks a little bit dubious. The 
There is a mild threat of getting born by night takes, D takes, bishop takes. So this resolves the problem. And and the threat also let's say we give white one turn of white and I'll move so was this first and there was this second. Wins the queen. Okay, but this uh, this protects both threats. Okay. This was not explained, and here I saw bishop d6. E3 is, is attacked. So we cannot take make, uh, after null move, say, bishop take, knight takes, rook takes, E3 comes. So I think we have to take the bishop. And here I thought e4. Five is a threat. Threat here. So how do we? How we? How do we stop it? We have to move the queen or the knight. <coughs> queen c7. No knight to h5. When we can, when we contest the dark squares. <coughs> For instance, g4, knight, c3. The type idea. Game over. Type idea. There is e5 yet.
somehow <coughs> e5 and e takes look a little bit impatient so I would like to see some other move maybe king f2 it seems to have to do something with with uh, Petrosian earlier ideas okay don't know but e5 okay to h7 and the queen <coughs> so queen h6 is only one to save the save the pawn as I can see So the knight says, Jerem says, knight h5 was a little bit problematic as we can see. So knight d7 and um, knight f8 might have been more stern, perhaps. Okay. So this and this. E3 <coughs> square is available for queen, which doesn't look too too nice. We cannot castle king um, long and short. If castle short, there's this queen e3 check. I'm still a little bit interested in this queen, uh, king f2 idea. So maybe that, you know, to contest the, the dark squares.
we got uh, we we do have quite a big quite a good grip on the center. <coughs> so how was the story in the beginning? <coughs> Admirable centralizes allow, allows Petrosian to start a flank attack with his pawns. C4 seems to make sense, a lot of sense to me. Context in the F5. So maybe C4, okay. And uh, Knight C7 is the only move. There is a five idea. G3 looks such a slow move. But would stop F5 in its tracks. Centralization. Allows flank attack.
um, dropping frames. I'm try trying to do something else. Okay. Maybe it's four. Just to um, to launch attack. The stab st stabilized center in a, uh, enables fight to set in motion the phalanx of bones or on the king side without worrying too much about the counterplay. I think he plays eight six. Uh, and if if um H five G five oh, 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 B, then we would have uh, F four. So I guess A H five is the is the move. No. So if we would have played H five you would have played this, and I thought we have this, but it drops the F4. So rook to F1. Six, no. fully understand the rook AD F1 idea yet. The idea is I guess some kind of F4, F5 break, but we cannot leave the G1 alone, so it's the move rook HD G1 then. B6, C5 looks still like the move, so I say B6, okay, B5. Ok. 
Okay, so we roll on. And a five. We still roll on. This invasion looks hor horrifying. Okay. <laughs> so takes. And I, I think G takes to open up the line for the game. Here, King at seven. Nope, here. F takes G six. F takes G six. H five. F6 is a threat. So it's covered.
F6 looks quite strong here. So maybe I shall play it. No. This allows... I thought we have rook g7 here, but uh, that's nothing, okay. So this is the break. And now the e6 is not available. If he goes to race five, there is bishop c six. the four to blockade the pawn looks correct. No. If he and this is the finish. If he moves bishop, then we go here and we threaten mate. It goes here, he gives up the bishop. So. Still, we can st oh. So there wasn't any heroic heroic tactics, but some little so this is I really like this kind of this kind of game. So D4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, d5. C takes, it takes, it's a C5. Knight B D7, E3. Bishop B7. Bishop D3 Castles Knight G E2 Rook E8 H3 No S 
C3 C6 sorry H3 ID4 Bishop F4 Knight f6, f3, takes c3, takes with pawn. Bishop d6. takes and takes e4 I h5 e5 queen h6 queen d2 takes takes g6 g4 g7 H4 Is up this seven no this to allow H5 H5 G5 Rook A F1 Is up D7 Rook H G1 B5 F4 A5 F5 G takes G takes King H8 E6 F takes F6 Knight F5 takes takes and cook G7 So sweet game I had this I had this page with some commentary So there is this try Rook E D eight
promote this one. So here, rook e d8. I have four. Bishop e8. Rook f g1. So twenty nine, rook g seven, rook e d eight. It's actually Corral. Okay. So this knight is five is the so instead here D takes F takes and he gives knight c4, I don't understand. He's fine at all. This is Corala, Corrali. Yes. So 
this is the game. The actual game. Hmm. Maybe if we merge these two, what happens? Okay. Um, thanks for f following. See you next time. Bye.